Compost EPC has been a lifetime in the making. I'm a son of a single mother, and so we come from very humble beginnings. My grandfather, who was my primary mentor in business as well as kind of fatherhood, was a welder and an entrepreneur. And I learned at a very early age, seven actually, working with him in the garage about work ethic, what that could translate to in terms of business. But I also learned how not to do business, and that kind of set the groundwork for me as an entrepreneur. Coming out of college, I entered the energy business. My goal was to start an organization by the age of 30 where um, value proposition was important and people were aligned to the success that they brought. And so at its roots, that's composting BC and its subsidiaries. As an entrepreneur, you think you have what it takes. Certainly as an engineer, I understood risk taking and in terms of calculated risk, that's very important, not being risky, but taking calculated risks. And so when I was 30, I was married. I had two children, we had a big fat mortgage and I'm surrounded by peers and family who are saying, you're doing great. But I knew there was more. And so being able to overcome that hurdle and the fear of that was the hardest part. Getting business, executing the work, that's certainly difficult. Growing, finding your niche in terms of being able to get momentum and have a sustainable business, that's all difficult. But that was the hardest part. Convincing those that you love that you could do this. The Southern Company Diversity Program was an exceptional program. It is a program that had the buy-in from the executives of the company, which is extremely important. They were part of this program. So it was introductions to those individuals, how the process works, just trying to shorten that learning curve and understanding of the company. That doesn't mean we don't have to do hard work behind the scenes to try and get business, right? Because they aren't gonna go so far, which is completely understandable. But there were some entry level things that were done to help foster our success through that process and some relationships created that were meaningful and follow up which was truly appreciated, right? And we did get a chance to go to one of their storage field facilities and see how they do business, which I thought was a special touch. It was hands-on. And we looked at the control center and we were able to kind of talk, you know, what are the opportunities here? What are the plans for this specific facility? And how would we fit into that? Our evolution with Southern Company Gas has been starting from smaller projects to larger projects. And so over the course of the past two years, with Southern Company Gas and with its uh, subsidiary NICOR um, out of Chicago, we've done everything from cathodic protection investigations and design work, AC mitigation designs, feasibility studies. So diversity manifests itself in a lot of different ways in our organization. We have a women's group dedicated to the empowerment of women, which is special to my heart, right? Coming from a single mother arrangement and understanding the, the hardships and kind of the superhero nature of a single mother. That means a lot to me. It is part of our DNA. We have a, the Compo CPC Foundation where we support over 4,000 students a year with smart lab facilities, scholarships, summer bridge programs, mentoring, a lot of things. And so ultimately it means to me is we need to be fair. Our offices need to reflect the communities that we're in. Atlanta should look like Atlanta, right? The opportunities given to people in Atlanta out of our office should be the same for everybody. And what's cool about that is you ultimately see kids that have gone through your program that we've all ultimately hired and to see that path, right? And that progression and gratitude, but also my gratitude for, look what we have now. We have a diverse thinker. We have somebody who has a different experience and a hard worker. It's important to Southern Company. We've only dealt with one other company nationwide where we have felt this type of mentorship and development in and around diverse business. So hats off to Southern Company Gas. It's exciting to me because I live this, right? I mean, so coming through college, I didn't have a lot of the support that we're, we're currently promoting. I had some of it. And I think we've amplified that type of support in what we do. The advice I would give to an early entrepreneur, regardless of age, I mean, it certainly depends on your circumstances, but you have to persevere. You have to invest in your future. It is not easy. So that's what you have to figure out. How do you get through that initial step, that first client? It might take you two years. That's a reality to get meaningful work, but it is a process and there is a pot at the end of the rainbow, but you have to earn it.